Hello friends, welcome to Desi Plaza TV. I'm your host Kushbu Rolly. Today we have with us Mr. Jagdish Purandala, sorry, Jags Purandala, that's what he goes by. He is a well-known community leader in Dallas. He works as a business operations advisor for CVS Health. He's a secretary of TEA, Telugu Entrepreneurs Association. Uh, he, is, uh, he has also co-convened first global Telangana convention that was conducted by Telangana Development Forum. And he keeps organizing multiple events for both TEA and TDF, uh, Telugu Entrepreneurs uh, Association and Telangana, Telangana Development Front. He supports uh, a few orphanages in India. He is involved in charity as well. And uh, he was involved in planning for Jefferson Park. He helped uh, the victims of fire in Irving uh, last year in 2016, uh, in which 15 families were impacted directly amongst others. And uh, uh, he uh, was first Indian model manager at CoWester.com. He won Best Alumni Award in Community Service Domain. He has multiple interests, including construction, teaching, garment business, wholesale stores, trading, investing, personal finance, mentoring students, and whatnot. <laughs> so, friends, let's welcome uh, Mr. Jax Purandala to the show. Mr. Jax, thank you so much for giving us your time on Desi Plaza TV. First of all, we would like to know how do you manage so much? We would like to know what your background and what intrigued you. What's the passion behind doing all this? And how did you get where you are uh, today? How did you achieve all this? First of all, thanks for having me. <laughs> Most welcome. Um, so um, my career started uh, in a small town mm -hmm. in Warangal district. Mm -hmm. And I have something unique um, from the first mm -hmm. class until the masters. Okay. I did everything in one district. Oh, that, so, that's good. Yeah, You're pretty all my connected to that place, right? Yes, all, <laughs> all my 18 memories. years education mm -hmm. I did in one district, Warangal district. That's awesome. I went to NIT Warangal, mm -hmm. um, where I did uh, uh, civil engineering, mm -hmm. and after that, uh, uh, at that point in time, I was in Telugu medium until uh, 12th grade. Okay. So you all know of the a language sudden, well. <laughs> it was a language barrier for yes. me uh, getting into the engineering and masters. Mm, you know, until twelfth grade, I was mm. all doing in Telugu, all mathematics yes. and science yes. and social studies. Yes, it was I a see. big shift. Mm -hmm. I took it as a challenge. Mm -hmm. so the first year was a rough year for me. I can and imagine. Then, yeah. then finally, <laughs> after my engineering, I got very good scores uh, cool. uh, in gate, and then I got into R C Warangal. I completed. Uh, my uh, master's there. That's awesome. It's not easy. I know a lot of people uh, struggle when they come from regional schools or those uh, language-based schools and all. But ultimately, all the colleges, you have to keep up with English and all. And look at you today. You know what? You are giving lectures in English to, to the world now. <laughs> so, of course, you made it. And, uh, of course, you're successful. You are here and all. So, how do you keep up that positivity and that uh, fighting spirit? Yeah. In fact, if you want to look at uh, mm -hmm. my background, you know, I was a very shy person. Oh, you were? <laughs> I never used to talk uh, in front of others. I used and now to, you're a mentor. <laughs> yes. In fact, I, in fact, I can tell you one example. When mm -hmm. I was in seventh grade, uh, there mm -hmm. was a play. I was mm -hmm. given a role and it was two minutes role. Mm -hmm. And I did not know what I did on the stage. Okay. So I was so shy. And after that, I realized that there is always something, you know, we can learn. That is so it's true. It's not something you born with. Yes. And it is all something you can learn over a period of time. Yes. So from so my true. parents, I learned that skill. We mm -hmm. want to be a lifelong uh, student. Mm -hmm. And that if you so are a lifelong student, you can achieve anything. Which is so well said and so true. Such a beautiful actually teaching that your parents taught you. I mean, that's a lesson for life that there's always more to learn. And you should always keep on learning and enhancing yourself as a person and not fearing something new. And I, I think as soon as you get beyond that fear, you just get the thing that you're trying to achieve. So uh, really awesome. And uh, so now we would like to know how are you associated with the T and uh, Telangana uh, Development Forum and all? So until uh, 2013, mm -hmm. all the community service I was doing uh, is internal. You know, I used to contribute to a couple of uh, uh, non-profit organizations in India, uh -huh. orphanages. And yes. my wife is a big supporter of uh, uh, these orphanages. <laughs> and we allocate certain amount and uh, every month uh, we donate certain amount that mm -hmm. we used to do. Mm -hmm. But ever since I came to Dallas, uh, 
coming to Dallas is a big story. I never wanted to come to <laughs> Dallas. You didn't want to come to Dallas? Yes. In fact, my wife pulled me and, you know, we were happy. Okay. I was in California. You were in California. And a couple of years, we were in Connecticut. And my daughter's uh, schools were good. And we were happy there. Mm -hmm. My wife, uh, in fact, he, she pushed me to come to Dallas. Okay. And I'm really thankful to her. That's cool. So, uh, when you got married uh, while you were in California? No, I, w I married when I was in India. Okay, cool. So, I was in India until 2000. But you were okay to come to US at least, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that I've heard. California is a pretty cool place and Dallas, the first impression of Dallas is of course kind of dull, especially compared to California. So, I can imagine that might have been your reason to not come here. But uh, anyways, uh, how do you like it now? You're yeah. here settled and everything. So. I like it uh, very much now. And in fact, uh, coming to the U.S. is also I never liked it. Okay, why? <laughs> <laughs> because I want to be, uh, I want to stay in India. Mm -hmm. I want to be part of Indian development. Okay, you know, I, I was yeah. doing that. But all of a sudden in 2000, uh, why don't I come here and uh, learn something new? Mm -hmm. And I learned a lot of new things. Uh, uh, in so the did United you study or wait, or when you came here, did you study? Uh, no, I did not study anything. All my study, everything was, was in, in India. India. Okay. And ever since... Uh, people ask me, "Are you? Uh, did you do MBA? Uh, did you do any uh, doctorate mm -hmm. program?" I say that uh, I did that uh, MBA in my life. That is so true because life is the true learning. In fact, we all actually learn the lessons that nature has to provide, and we formalize them in form of courses and whatnot. But if we can directly learn from life itself, that's the most precious kind of learning you could ever have. Yeah. So. <laughs> and to continue, uh, uh, you are asking about the non-profit mm -hmm. organizations. So yes. I always uh, focused on, you know, how I can give it back to the community. Mm -hmm. So uh, my friend uh, Vijay Pitta, uh, he, um, he took me into te uh, Tel uh, Telangana Development Forum okay. and uh, we have been doing some development programs back in Telangana. Okay. okay? And uh, coming to the T, Telugu Entrepreneurs Association, based on my work uh, mm -hmm. in Dallas, uh, Guram Srinivas Reddy um, asked me to join T. And I've been with T almost two years, mm -hmm. and uh, it has been a terrific experience. And in that, what we are trying to do is how we can foster entrepreneurship among youth, mm -hmm. and also how we increase our connections, network. Mm -hmm. End of the day, we came to the United States to make a big difference, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. that is what we are trying to do. Uh, which is so true. I mean, we do understand uh, uh, that coming over here itself is kind of an achievement and we want to make the most of it. And But still having that sense of giving it back to community and still trying to keep connected uh, with our busy life. I mean, we all have, but trying to take that time out and uh, being able to do something. And amazing work that you do. You're involved with some orphanages as well back in India. Yes. So by itself, you know, that's uh, a very brilliant work because, uh, you know, they have a helping hand. Uh, on their heads, uh, you know, that feels a lot and that means a lot. And uh, so friends, his wife, uh, Pushpa, is also involved uh, in a lot, lot of charity work that you actually do, you know. There's always a girl involved <laughs> in this, behind the success of a man. So it's a good team that you have. Uh, what mm, is actually uh, tea about? Like how does it help uh, children or the society? So, uh, this is something, uh, tea was uh, originally started by uh, Guram Srinivas Reddy, Garu, and um, his idea was to um, bring Telugu community, Telugu entrepreneur community together, and thereby, how we can foster uh, entrepreneurship uh, among women. You know, okay. we took different uh, segments, women is one segment, uh, the youth is another segment, and uh, recently, we conducted one new uh, event for high school students. Oh, yes. I saw students. the videos. It was really awesome. And also, the, the adults, mm -hmm. how we can increase yes. our connections. Yes. And the last year, we conducted an e event for uh, high school students mm -hmm. where we did a six weeks program. And in the six weeks program, before we started, the students, high school students, they mm -hmm. did not have any ideas, you know, what <laughs> ideas they need to work on. But they were on. brilliant. One of them was, uh, came up with an idea of backbone straightener. I was like, what is that? I want to know about it. <laughs> but they came up with brilliant stuff and you, you were providing such good platform. Yeah. In fact, you know, mm -hmm. we were, we were uh, even surprised, you know, how many students are going to come. Mm -hmm. And we were looking for 30 students. We got 67 students. <laughs> and, you know, initially, so you these, your students were very... Mm -hmm. A spectacle on you know uh, mm -hmm. how this is going to work mm -hmm. but we were able to stick uh, students together mm -hmm. and we were able to end the show 
with with a bang that's really awesome so how what is the style of this whole show like is like a workshop how long does it last how do you prepare kids okay so essentially what we tried was mm -hmm. we uh, we worked with several uh, university professors mm -hmm. and successful entrepreneurs mm -hmm. uh, in Dallas and mm -hmm. uh, throughout the united states cool. and we come up with a 6 weeks program Six weeks. Six weeks okay. program. So that's the duration and of the program. It was right? challenging for us. You know, mm -hmm. nobody has ever done th such program for high school kids. That's true. Okay. Mm -hmm. So which is why it's initially we started concept. with. Yeah, it's a new concept, mm -hmm. and uh, especially working with high school students, mm -hmm. it's really tough <laughs> because their expectations are too high. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so what we did was we took uh, the help from the professors mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, these uh, successful entrepreneurs, we put together a curriculum. So basically the business plan, How in, uh, any idea it should go into the business plan mm -hmm. and there are different uh, components of the business plan. So we divided that into fa first f five weeks program. Mm -hmm. Each week we used to have a, a lecture mm -hmm. and also there is a hands-on session. So this we conducted in UT Dallas and it's a two hours program. And every week, that two hours program, uh, we continued for five weeks. On the fifth week, mm -hmm. they came up with a business plan. Okay. And that business plan, we formed into groups of mm -hmm. three, four people, students. That's cool. And we assigned a mentor mm -hmm. just to help them out. Yeah. Yep. And then finally, the way they presented, the way pitched, we really... Uh, uh, surprised <laughs> the talent we have kids do surprise us yeah. the kind of imagination and creativity that they have they can actually think they generally think beyond limits they don't think that there's end to imagination anyways and if uh, and i think we kids are the ones who really need the true platform we really need to actually those are the roots of the society and if we enrich them we are sure to have uh, the brilliant future uh, so, uh, was this in collaboration with UTD? Is uh, is it a program that would be kind of in collaboration run by UTD every year or something? It's not something uh, UTD uh, runs every year. Mm -hmm. Actually, we partner with UT Dallas okay. and you know they provided uh, the, the facility. Mm -hmm. They provided a wonderful facility. Mm -hmm. you know, they that must made be so a lot happy, of yeah, uh, you know what, uh, yeah. something precious that uh, their students are achieving in a way. And also there are a lot of volunteers who helped mm -hmm. in the program. Mm -hmm. Without them, this uh, event would not have been possible. I, I can imagine. I mean, if you're saying a team of four and every team has a mentor, so I'm pretty sure you actually gathered a lot of community volunteers who are in entrepreneurs of some kind in some other business, and they're helping them out to create plans and whatnot. And, uh, uh, of course, so they came up with a wonderful kind of project and maybe presentation at the sixth week or something? Yeah, they presented on the sixth week and uh, uh, we had uh, very successful entrepreneurs, Abhida Bedi, uh, Krishna Korapati okay. and um, um, there are several uh, other uh, entrepreneurs uh, came and they evaluated and uh, it was a hard decision for them <laughs> and they had to pick three winners. Oh, see <laughs> so that's the hard part. <laughs> yeah, that's the hard part. You know, everybody, uh, everyone was doing uh, wonderful yes, and they had to select three winners and mm -hmm. some of them, even uh, the entrepreneurs, they agreed to provide internships too. Oh, they did? That's really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. And how was the reaction of students and parents? Like sometimes students uh, get attached to their idea and they might expect, okay, now I actually want to run a business of on my business plan. <laughs> did you get something of that sort? Yes. Uh, some of the students initially, they never wanted to be entrepreneurs okay. uh, before the program. Mm -hmm. But after the program, they realized that we have to be entrepreneurs. Though they mm -hmm. are going into the, the uh, uh, medicine uh, mm -hmm. field, mm -hmm. still they want to be entrepreneurs. That's cool. And at least we put the seed. It and so at true. least you know, out of the 60, yes. if 10 people mm -hmm. become CEOs, CFOs, we'll mm -hmm. be very happy. Which is so true. I mean, basically directly impacting the brain and giving that then that confidence that you know what you can do it and they themselves thinking yes we can do it and it's interesting and I want to do it that itself is a big achievement for our entire community as yeah. such so it's a great gift that uh, you are giving and I'm so glad people like you are on secretary and uh, on the board of uh, organizations like TEA and we would really want TEA to actually expand further I don't know what your future plans are in terms uh, have you thought like where would TEA stand, uh, let's say, two years from now, or any other plans that you might have? Yes, we have some big plans. You know, mm -hmm. we wanted to expand T uh, to 
other cities too. Mm -hmm. And in fact, you know, after this program, um, I got a uh, lot of messages <laughs> on Facebook and phone. No wonder. And uh, they were asking, you know, when are you conducting such program um, in, in New York and California? Uh -huh. So, so what we said was, it does definitely we have plans to expand into the other cities. And also, this year we are planning uh, a global uh, summit. Oh, and are? we are we are in in a planning stage, and we will announce the date and uh, uh, awesome. place awesome. when it's going to happen. Thank you so much. All the best. All the best. We are waiting for that announcement. So, friends, we are in talks with Mr. Jax Purandala. We shall be back after a short break. You are actually listening and hearing us on Desi Plaza TV. Thank you so much. See you after the break.